Hey guys, I am Nishan and welcome to Cybernetico. So here in this video, let's look into what is debouncing in React. So what is debouncing? If we search it on Google, let's say what we get the bouncing. It simply means delaying a function in JavaScript or like yes, in JavaScript basically. So see, debouncing is written as okay, not this. It's chemistry in JavaScript. Yes, this one. It is written here that debouncing in JavaScript is a practice used to improve browser performance. There might be some functionality in a web page which is blah blah blah. Okay, we don't need this. It simply means telling a function. Where do I find the correct? Definition a debounce function makes your code only triggered once as per user input. Yes, this is correct. Or if you want a more clear explanation, okay, let me open this my channel or my page in free code camp here. Fine. There are some heavy tasks in software development like calling an API. So here we have an API endpoint. Suppose the API searches a list of users and we cannot or can't afford to fire it too often. We want to search it only when we have typed the whole query or whole input. So let's implement this. In React, we will create a function const, let's say, okay, we have to create a function. So let's say, mm, what can we say? Search pin. And here I have an API that is that will search the pin code or like location details according to the pin code. We also have Axios installed. So let's export Axios, sorry, import Axios, import Axios from Axios. Here we will make the API call. So Axios.get we will use get method. Then we will pass this pin API here endpoint. Let's also create one input tag of placeholder enter your pin code so it's done and it's here let me zoom this too much okay fine we have this input fine but let's do one more thing here let's bring it down so we have to just copy or cut this paste it in app or and then remove everything else that we don't need and it's here also remove the background color because that also we don't need we have enter your pin code now this function will run when we type something in the pin code input this input we can say on change event we can call this search pin input then we have to pass the query so we can say event here it will take event let's do this let's just pass the target uh, and value directly now this will take an event here and it will pass event dot target dot value let's take the value here and 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 we have to append the value here in this pin api so we will do a question mark mm, wait a second let's do this yes it will append the value like this so we can say console dot log response res and save if it fails we will simply catch it catch to get the error if any in the console console dot log error we have one extra bracket let's try this open the console oh sorry not to console let's open the network tab first let me do it like this close this click uh, settings here how do i remove this yes 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 click settings but what about this? We can't clear disable catch. No. 
just click this button it will not okay just bring it upwards a little bit now let's type the pin code see we can see the response here it's returning us this and it's appending the pin code to this api using this value so in the preview in the response we are getting the post offices so let's filter it out now if you now if you know if you now know the api call is getting called properly so let's refresh and try once more add the pin code okay undefined what about dress let's try once more eight zero 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 one one more zero extra and remove that open this response we have to keep the data so res dot data and what's inside the data zeroth index we have to filter zero index dot post office so that's not important the data we are getting the data is not important the important is how we are running the data so let's say if you are if you open the network tab clear it out everything type your pin code let's say 800001 so let's let's say we type the pin code six or five times we have to this oh how does how will it expand hmm. okay so we called api like six times because we have six numbers here so the api call has been called six times each with a different response and request so to avoid that we use rebouncing and if you use rebouncing what will happen is the api call will be called only once and this whole data this whole query will be sent at once because currently if you see we are sending 8 then 80 then 800 8000 and then so on till the last letter so that's not preferable that causes abuse of the api and trust me you don't want that so what we can do is we can just refresh the page let's implement debouncing now so for the debouncing function we need a method which is called use effect hook from react so let's import it import use effect from react also it's fine here but we need one more thing called states so, so we will import use state hook and we will create one state so const let's say pin and set pin now if you type the pin it will be set inside this pin state using set pin method now let's create the hook of use effect all these things we have to do and it's simple now we have a dependency array here so if we put the pin here or the, or the state here this use effect hook will run and it will call anything that's inside it when like it will call everything inside it when the value changes so we will do this we will create a set timer function inside this uh, use effect hook we will do const set or uh, search pin let's do this equal to we will use set timeout set timeout or let's do set search pin or let's call the function debouncing fine we are creating a function called debouncing okay yes then we have to move this whole thing inside the set amount function but one more thing before moving it inside this takes the function that it will call and the interval so let's say we want to call the api after two seconds of typing so when we type and let's type eight four zeros and one the moment we finish typing one at the last after two seconds this function will run after typing two seconds i will show you so in the debouncing we have set timeout here let's cut the axios api called and we don't need it here remove this so the value becomes the pin now because we have the state here so pin api plus the pin it will append the pin code to the api at the last fine and then it will display the data so it's done debouncing now we have to call the function so to call the function 
we can simply set we can simply do this so hmm, how to call the function let's do this so we will do return and inside this return we will do but wait a second okay hmm. how to do this is in the return we will do this hmm. clear timeout clear timeout and we will pass this debouncing function so let's see if it works or not now what will happen is if we type in the pin code text the pin will change and this function will run but it will only run when we type the last letter and then after two seconds this api call will be displayed so now let's check clear the console now let's type the pin code 800001 let's check see it works after like two seconds we are getting this call here api call with the data that is present in the database all this data let's try one more clear it out let's try six zero 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 one see now we are getting the data of chennai because this input of six this is the pin code of like from chennai i think if we add five it will fetch one more set of data after two seconds fine so that's how debouncing works in react